A second half comeback saw Premier League pace setters Liverpool restore their four point advantage at the top with a 4 1 victory over Luton Town. Cheeto Ziogbin's early header was only the 11th league goal a visiting team had scored at Anfield this season, but for a long time it looked like producing another twist in the title race as the depleted hosts struggled to find their best form. But headers from Virgil van Dijk and Cody Gakpo within the space of two minutes turned things around before Luis Diaz and Harvey Elliott fired home to ease them away from the clutches of second place Manchester City. Any slip-up, even at this stage, could have significant implications in what is currently a three-way battle and without this victory City would have had the chance to go top at Bournemouth on Saturday as Liverpool are otherwise engaged in the Carabao Cup final against Chelsea. That Wembley encounter meant no risks were taken with Mohamed Salah and Darwin Nunez, who are both carrying knocks, but with injuries had already ruling out nine other players it left Jurgen Klopp with very few options. What the first half, in particular, showed was that Standings Elliott and Gakpo lacked half a yard of pace both over the ground and in their passing. They were not helped by some poor decision-making by Diaz, the one regular starter in the forward line, who in only the third minute delayed his shot too long as he tried to maneuver it onto his right foot and then shot wide with only goalkeeper Thomas Kaminsky to beat. Luton stunned Anfield by taking the lead in the 12th minute. Tahit Chong received a return pass from Kali Woodrow before shooting from a narrow angle and the ball squeezed under Queeving Kelleher and bounced up to the far post where Ogbena headed into an empty goal. Luton's game plan was then to try to attack the space behind the fullbacks but limit Liverpool's options by going man for man in defence, which often left them two on two. The last visiting team to win a league game at Anfield, Leeds in October 2022, did the same. And Luton also worked harder, Albert Sambila Conga easing Elliott off the ball as he looked to shoot from Gokpo's flick on, and smarter as the hosts resorted to firing in long-range shots. Elliott's radar was off from two breakaways as his passes to Gokpo were three feet short and two yards too long as the final ball continued to elude them. And frustrations threatened to boil over with Klopp exploding in rage at a fan near the front of the main stand, presumably for his negative reaction to a third misplaced Elliott pass. The early omens in the second half were not much better as Diaz fired straight at Tiden Mingi but when Gokpo's near post shot was turned behind Van Dijk powered home a header from Alexis McAllister's 56th minute corner. Two minutes later it was Gokpo producing a brilliant leap to launch Connor Bradley's cross past Kaminsky, who had brilliantly saved Bradley's deflected shot with his legs. The Luton goalkeeper did even better to repel another powerful Van Dijk header as Liverpool turned the screw, with substitute Andy Robertson charging forward to tee up Diaz for the third. In doing so he became the fifth Liverpool player to reach double figures, which is the best of any team in Europe's top five leagues, with Elliott grabbing his second of the season late on as Luton remained in the bottom three.